Saturday afternoon at the ballet, we present The Sleeping Pastry, a very beautiful ballet. And since you people listening to the radio cannot see the ballet, I will describe it for you in the four minutes before the curtain goes up. And maybe if you try hard, you can imagine it for yourself. The first act begins in a sleepy town. Very, very early in the morning, the town baker is baking some pastries in preparation for the birthday of a lovely princess. has a wonderful pastry. The most glorious pastry the world has ever seen. There is much rejoicing as the baker's treats dance with delight. And at last, the town baker gathers up the wondrous pastry and rushes to the castle of the beautiful princess. He is happy that she is going to have such a glorious pastry for her celebration. Arriving at the castle, the town baker presents the princess with his fabulous creation. The princess is delighted. Truly, this is the most fantastic pastry ever baked. Unfortunately for them all, a wicked fairy sneaks in unseen. With a wave of his magic wand, he casts an evil spell on the pastry and then flaps away. The princess dances happily with the pastry, unaware of the evil spell that has been cast upon it. And so, she gives it a fateful kiss. Suddenly, the princess feels drowsy and falls into a deep sleep. The pastry feels guilty and dances the dance of despair. The baker is distraught. What will the princess's parents say when they come home for the party? And so he dances unhappily to the kitchen and returns with a steaming cup of coffee with which he tries to wake the slumbering princess. But the wicked fairy stands in his way, waving his wand and casting a spell on the baker. He flaps away evilly. The fragrant aroma of the coffee wafts over the nose of the princess. Sniffing the coffee, the princess awakens. She dances over to the sleeping baker, desperately trying to awaken him. Thank <laughs> you. 